why journaling is my number one tool. So I'm going to start off with a quick question. Does anybody use team collaboration software like Clubhouse, Trello, or Confluence? Can you raise your hand? Not as much as I should. <laughs> so team collaboration software, manage projects, manage notes, important details. You're all referred to that, those same notes at future dates. Very useful. Uh, second software that we're going to discuss is client so it's a client management software. You manage, manage conversations, manage calls, renewal dates, and so on. Very important. Talking to a customer, you want to remember the details of our last conversation. How many of you guys use a life management software or a journal? It's very rare, so we keep track of our businesses and those processes that we, we don't keep track of our family details, our love and relationships, some of the important things. So that's why I started a journal about a year ago. We're going to discuss three reasons how I use my journal as a tool. First, I'm going to start off with the goals of my presentation today. There's four of the three ways I use my journal as a tool. And second, hopefully by the end of the program, I'll inspire a few to start to think of The bottom here, the journal is ultimately a gathering place for all of our observations and discoveries about life. Three reasons why journal is my number one tool. First is solving difficult problems. I'm sure everyone has heard. Writing down your problem helps you come up with a solution. Nothing new here. But one of the most important ways I use my journal is by documenting my problem and writing everything down. And just in writing those things down, I'm able to come up with a solution. We'll go over that more in detail. The reasons why I Capturing good ideas. Taking a shower. You have a great idea that's going to change the world. We're going to remember that, I promise. And it never comes up again. Keeping a your good idea in your journal allows you to capture it. Third, documenting valuable experiences. Whether it be family experiences, personal experiences, personal growth, or ideas, documenting those valuable experiences and being able to refer back to them is a probably is a very, very valuable tool. Imagine if we go back to our our first birthday or our thirteenth birthday, our parents kept a very detailed journal and we can go back and see who attended, what gifts we got, and things along those lines. Very, very valuable. Solving problems. Rod and staff. So this is Gandalf. This is his staff. Lord of the Rings here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was going to be presenting this to Bell for his stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> but a journal is your rod and staff when you're faced with a difficult problem or, or situation. Journaling is a powerful tool that provides clarity in times of <coughs> challenge. So, how? There's something magical about writing down a problem. It's almost as though in the very act of writing what is wrong, you start to discover ways of making it right. And why that happens is objective perspective. When you write down your problem, it creates a space between you and the problem. And typically when we just have our problem in our head, we have a lot of false and distorted information. But when we write it down, we become more realistic and we, it allows us to paint a more clear picture of what's really going on. And it, within that space is where solutions have room to grow. So better problem solving. These are three of the main steps that I take when writing down problems. First, you want to capture the problem on paper. You want to clarify exactly what the problem is in as much detail as you can. So you just want to write here whether it's what the problem is, who's involved, the solutions that you have in mind currently, much detail as you can make. Second, you want to carefully analyze what you've written. A picture here of David and, and Goliath. In this story, David is able to conquer Goliath with just a small stone. Typically, you can solve your problems with just a small shift in either your habit, your thinking, or your actions. So when you're writing down your problems, you can usually find solutions and sometimes it's a small change that can help you fix your problem. There are conclusions and observations. So it's a picture of a, uh, a scientist analyzing some data. So we want to, just like confluence, we want to keep track of our processes, our observations, and the results here. We want to keep track of what went well, what didn't work well. We want to learn from our mistakes here. Every mistake has its own price tag, with the most costly error anyone can make is an error on learning the confluence. Yes. 
Captain Good Ideas. It's one of my favorite quotes from Paul Anderson. I suppose every old scholar has had the experience of reading something in a book which was significant to him as his car book. <laughs> <laughs> but which he could never find again. Sure, he read it there, but no one else ever read it, nor can he find it again. So we buy the book and ransack every page. This happens to me sometimes when I'm talking on the phone. And I don't remember what we talked about last. So you can get nothing to tell the last one too. Inspiration is all around us when we're capturing this good idea. Whether we're reading a book, we get an idea from the book, a uh, sermon, lecture, conversation, business meeting, movies, or TV. We constantly are getting new ideas that can improve our lives without capturing it. It may be less. An idea is worth listening to, worth reading, worth remembering, and it's also worth capturing. It doesn't take too long to capture some kind of idea, and it'll be there forever. Here are the reasons why. First, it trains your brain. Writing, down your, writing it down helps your brain to remember it. Very simple. Every idea has its time and place. You might not need that particular idea now, but in the future, it may be very valuable to come back in. But if you use that particular idea for a moment you have now. Their ideas are like snowflakes. In the background, you see a picture of an igloo. And that an igloo is just a bunch of snowflakes combined. So each idea is a snowflake. And if you have enough ideas in one particular thing, then you may become an igloo. <laughs> Documenting valuable experiences. So in the background, you'll see the first day of school for a child. Imagine if you could go back to that your child's first day, and remember the details, how you felt, how they felt, was it a nice day outside, all the details there, how valuable would that be 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road. The handling the transcript, narrated in our own words, which captures the experiences, observations, reactions, and conclusions about the people and events that have changed our lives. We're touching about them. And when we're writing down our valuable moments or magical moments, we want to capture the emotion of that moment so that we can reference it at a later time. These are some ideas that are some, these are some of the main ways I use my journal now. Everyone has their own uses for journal, so it's your journal. You can write down whatever you want, but I like to write down my golden dreams, inspiring quotes that I found, things I'm grateful for, to-do lists, that was all How did you get into journaling? Like, what started the process? So there's a couple of main reasons why. The first was a book, and I was logging my goals, and creating a list of goals that I wanted to achieve. And that moved me into another book, which talked about the benefits of journaling. And then there's a couple instances, and I'll use one of them examples here. Is I was going through a tough time within, within Dallas, and I felt like I had too much going on in my life. I was struggling a little, a little bit with health and other things like that. But I had a meeting with Rob and Jason, and just wrote down everything that needed, that needed to be done. And I was able to solve some of my problems by coming up with an action plan. So after that, I started to use my journal and they called So are you actually writing it down? Are you typing? I'm just curious. Is it actually a written journal? So my journal is, is super advanced with technology nowadays. I have my iPad, so I have my, my health data automatically sent to my journal every day. I have the photos that I take that day. My journal then has a note-taking app that I would that I use Apple Pencil on, and it will save all my written notes. But yes, I usually write it down. Sometimes I take screenshots or copy and paste from documents. But it's all right there. Okay. So since you're doing it on your iPad, is there an app that you can combine every, everything you're doing in, in the one place, including, like I think of this, is you guys you might have two, like those kids, like if I can start to combine some multimedia stuff into the journal, like a video I shot a paper today and put it in the same thing, do you know of any tool that does it all in one? I use one, one diary, okay. and it, it automatically pulls from other software, so for example, in your Photos app, it'll ask you, do you want to log any of these photos in your, in your journal? And you just 
just click on the ones that you want to predict or videos and then yeah. it's very, very nice and then you can flip it uh, and, and uh, adapt here so you can have a lot of things on. Cool. Thank you. All tied together. Write down your ideas.